Hey everyone, welcome back to the Stephen King Corner once again. So today I want to do a top 50 Stephen King short story ranking video. So it's a bit of a follow-up to the video where I ranked all of his novels, which ended up being a little controversial. Obviously you're not going to make everybody happy. I think for the most part I offended a lot of the Dark Half fans, putting that as low as it was. Um, that was the most glaring notice from that video for sure. Um, but yeah, so today I wanted to do top 50 short stories and similar, very quick, like very clear and concise. Like I'm not going to talk about all 50 stories too in depth. I'm just going to kind of rapid fire, go through them and just say a little tidbit. So uh, yeah, here we go again. Okay, so at number 50, I'm putting Storm of the Century I know it's not a short story, it's a screenplay, but it wasn't involved in my other ranking video because it wasn't considered a novel, and I just really did love this screenplay. I felt like it was one of the more better things that I did read from Stephen King. So this is a bit of an honorable mention, as I feel like it's a little overqualified for this list. Um, so I'm just going to put it in at number 50 just to kick off the list and talk about how great this actually was. Number 49, The Man in the Black Suit from Everything's Eventual. A nine-year-old boy has a bit of a brush with the devil. Pretty interesting read. Number 48, Here There Be Tigers from Skeleton Crew. This is every kid's dream, letting a tiger devour your grade school teacher. Number 47, The Mangler from Night Shift. A machine gets possessed by a demon. That should be enough to hook you in right there. Number 46, Blind Willie from Hearts in Atlantis. Hearts in Atlantis was my one regret of not putting on my Stephen King novels rankings list. Probably should have been there. So I'm putting the short stories on this list um, as they were all awesome. But Blind Willie follows a Vietnam vet who's basically trying to navigate his life after the war. There's a lot more to it than just that, but it's, it's a really good read as well as the rest of this novel. You should check it out. Number 45, Why We're in Vietnam, from Hearts in Atlantis as well. It's the next story in the collection. Uh, this one follows two more vets. It's got some pretty weird stuff going on in this one. But if you're a constant reader, you, uh, you owe it to yourself to check this one out. Number 44, Blockade Billy, from The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. This is a very cool baseball story with a bit of a horror twist. Number 43, Mr. Harrigan's Phone from If It Bleeds. This is a pretty creepy story about texts from beyond the grave. I like this one. Number 42, Beach World from Skeleton Crew. A spacecraft crash lands on an uninhabited planet, or so they think. The sand ends up being sentient, and crazy stuff happens. This is a very cool and interesting sci-fi read. Number 41, 1922 from Full Dark No Stars. This one's about a father and son conspiring to murder their wife slash mother. A very bleak and disturbing story, but good. Number 40, Willa from Just After Sunset. A creepy little ghost story with a bit of a twist ending. Fun stuff. Number 39, The Monkey from Skeleton Crew. A boy finds a one of those symbol-banging monkeys, one of those guys right there, uh, in his attic, and it seems to be possessed, I guess, and killing people around him. They try and get rid of it. They end up throwing it into Crystal Lake. Oddly enough, for you Friday the 13th fans, and it ends up coming back. Uh, it's a This is a fun little story. Number 38, Quitters Inc. from Night Shift. A guy employs a service to help him quit cigarettes with a very morbid twist. Number 37, Breathing Method from Different Seasons. This is a pretty creepy story with a very interesting ending that I think will stick with you after the fact. Number 36, The Ten O'Clock People from Nightmares and Dreamscapes. This is a bit like the movie They Live, if you've seen that. It's a very interesting read that will make you think when it's all said and done. It's a good one. 
Number 35, Word Processor of the Gods from Skeleton Crew. Everything this guy writes on this new typewriter, I believe, ends up coming true, which makes him do some pretty questionable things. Number 34, The Cat from Hell from Just After Sunset. This is just a lesson for anyone as to why you just shouldn't F with cats. Number 33, Mile 81 from The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. This is a very different and original take on an alien story. I really like this one. I would check this one out. Number 32, Secret Window, Secret Garden from Four Past Midnight. This is about a writer who goes up to a remote cabin to write a novel, ends up getting weird visits from a strange fellow. It's a good story with a very interesting twist ending that you'll probably enjoy. Number 31, You Know They Got a Hell of a Band from Nightmares and Dreamscapes. This is a Twilight Zone-like story about a couple who ends up getting lost in a town that they just can't get out of. It's an interesting read. Number 30, If It Bleeds from If It Bleeds. Holly Gibney's solo effort here in a mini Outsider sequel. If you liked The Outsider, you're probably going to like this one. If you didn't, then you probably won't. But I like The Outsider, which is why it's number 30 on my list. Number 29, Battleground from Night Shift. Basically the movie Small Soldiers, but for adults. It's a really fun story about some small toy soldiers coming to life and being very violent. I like this one. Number 28, Jerusalem's Lot from Night Shift. A prequel to Salem's Lot, enough said right there. Number 27, You Are from The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. This one has a Dark Tower connection. It's a fun story, a little bit of a low man appearance as well. So if you're a Dark Tower junkie, you're gonna like this one. Number 26, The Boogeyman from Night Shift. Very creepy story, kids getting killed in their bed, some violent deaths. Uh, this one, as a child, would, would scare you pretty bad, uh, especially going to sleep at night. It's, that's a story you, you, owe, you owe it to yourself to check out, for sure. Number 25, Graveyard Shift from Night Shift. Uh, it's a creature feature. If you like creature features, you're gonna like this story. Some giant rats terrorizing people. It's a fun one, this one, for sure. Number 24, Night Surf from Night Shift. This one has a mention of Captain Trips, so it's a bit of a connection to The Stand. It's just a bunch of kids on a beach trying to survive this ongoing virus. This is a good one as a follow-up read to The Stand, like I said. Number 23, Mrs. Todd's Shortcut from Skeleton Crew. This is a fun story. It explores the whole alternate dimension theme here, uh, passing through a wormhole. It's, uh, it's an interesting read. It'll, it'll definitely weird you out a little bit, but uh, this one will make you think. Number 22, The Body from Different Seasons. It's a coming of age story about a group of kids who venture out to find a dead body in the woods. It is about relationships at a young age and it's just very, very well written. The movie Stand By Me was based on this. It's a, it's a great read for sure. Number 21, One for the Road from Night Shift. This is a sequel to Salem's Lot. This one's definitely best served reading right after you finish Salem's Lot. Number 20, The Ledge from Night Shift. The mob makes some guy try and scale around the outside of a high rise building. This one has a great ending. Number 19, The Little Sisters of Alluria from Everything's Eventual. An earlier story with Roland in it. This is another must read if you are a Dark Tower junkie. This one's a good one. Number 18, Drunken Fireworks from The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. Two families trying to outdo each other with a fireworks show every year. This is a super fun read. Number 17, Bad Little Kid from The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. This is about a little kid that keeps showing up in the same form throughout this guy's entire life, 
even when he's finally on death row. Uh, this one is a very creepy read that'll get you thinking about, I guess, being followed by a demon of some sort. I like this one a lot. Number 16, 1408 from Everything's Eventual. A very creepy haunting story taking place in a hotel. Also a very good movie starring John Cusack. Number 15, N from Just After Sunset. This is a very Lovecraftian story about a group of stones in a field that seem to be some sort of gateway and have a bit of a pull that is compelling people to commit suicide. This is a very interesting read. I like this one. Number 14, Heavenly Shades of Night Are Falling from Hearts in Atlantis. This is the last story in this collection here that really weaves everything together. This one is the best one, in my opinion, for that reason. If you enjoyed the first four, you're absolutely going to love love the conclusion to this. Number 13, Afterlife from the Bazaar of Bad Dreams. Talk about one that's going to make you think. This is basically about what happens after we die and you get a choice. You either get to do it all again exactly how you've done it or you can just shut it off and that's that. Interesting. This one, like I said, will make you think for sure. Number 12, Survivor Type from Skeleton Crew. Body horror to an extreme degree. A uh, guy stuck on a, stranded on a deserted island and he resorts to self-cannibalism. This one, if uh, you got a weak stomach, I wouldn't read it. But if, if you can put up with that kind of thing, it's actually a very interesting story. Number 11, Cain Rose Up from Skeleton Crew. This one is disturbing. It's only about eight pages, but it's an impactful eight pages. It basically takes you into the mind of an individual who is right about to shoot up his quad, his, his university campus, uh, from his dorm room window. It, it's, like I said, it's, it's an interesting take into the mind of someone who's on the brink of doing something like that. Number 10, Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption from Different Seasons. Not much to say about this one. I mean, I'm sure majority of you have seen the movie uh, starring Morgan Freeman. Awesome movie. Awesome read as well here. Um, you know, I could I could go either or on this one, even though I usually tend to lean towards the the written material as opposed to the movies. But uh, But yeah, this is just an awesome little prison break story here. Number nine. Low Men in Yellow Coats from Hearts in Atlantis. You know, another one that is very important to the Dark Tower series. And once again, if you're a tower junkie, it's a must read. You have to. Number eight, The Jaunt from Skeleton Crew. Awesome story. In the future, humans can now travel through the cosmos. But in order to do it, the technology requires you to be put under... And if you're not put under, you're gonna experience some wild stuff. A uh, kid decides he's going to try and not get put under, which ends up resulting in a pretty crazy revelation. And the ending of this one will just blow your mind. Great story. Number seven, Apt Pupil from Different Seasons. Story revolves around an ex-Nazi who starts to brainwash a local teen in his neighborhood. This is a good read, but a very disturbing read. Number six, Hearts in Atlantis from Hearts in Atlantis. This is my favorite one from this collection here. Uh, surrounds around a group of students at university during the Vietnam War. This is a fascinating read. I love the whole dialogue um, in all the stories in Hearts in Atlantis here. But this one, this one was good. Number five, Dolan's Cadillac from Nightmares and Dreamscapes. I love me a revenge story, and this one is the ultimate revenge story. It's a guy who ends up seeking revenge against the mob for inadvertently killing his wife. But the way he plans it out and bides his time is genius and well worth it. Number four, The Raft from Skeleton Crew. This is one of my favorites for sure. It's in the top five, obviously, but this one's about a group of kids who go up to a cottage, end up swimming, going out onto a floating dock, and they end up getting stranded and terrorized 
by this alien oil slick like creature. Uh, this is a this is a fun read for sure. I love this story. Number three, Children of the Corn from Night Shift. This is another one that is one of my favorites. It centers around a sm small town USA. Gatlin is the name of the town and all the kids ended up following this cult leader named Isaac and killing all the grown-ups in the town and a young couple ends up driving into this town after they get lost on some back roads and terror ensues it's a great story also a great movie um, I just really really did enjoy that one number two the Langoliers from four past midnight I read this one when I was a kid and it really did take for me. I, I was so enthralled in this story. It's about a group of passengers on a plane that they fall asleep and when they wake up, there's only a select few of them left and everyone has basically disappeared. Even when they land on in, in an airport, there's nobody it's left, it's deserted. Very cool, kind of a post-apocalyptic, I guess you could say, sci-fi read here. And like I said, this one just really, uh, really brought me in. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And number one is The Mist in Skeleton Crew. I love The Mist. I love the movie. I love the novel. The endings are extremely different if you've only seen the movie. Um, the ending in the novel, I would say, is a little more tame. But overall, the story is pretty similar. Uh, crazy thick mist comes in with some creatures in it and it, it's just an awesome story with a little bit of some dark tower tie-ins if you're a tower junkie as well so everything's there it's uh it's really cool once again if you've made it this far thank you for watching my video if you're into this kind of content if you're into reading if you're into stephen king especially give me a thumbs up give me a subscribe i also do movie collection videos as well which is a passion of mine. And yeah, once again, happy reading and we'll talk to you guys soon.